In the annals of scientific history, few stories are as enigmatic and unsettling as the disappearance of Ettore Majorana, the Italian physicist whose brilliance shone brightly against the backdrop of 20th century science. Born on August 5, 1906, in Catania, Sicily, Majorna was a prodigy from a young age, and his contributions to the field of quantum mechanics positioned him alongside such luminaries as Enrico Fermi, who considered him a genius, on par with Isaac Newton and Galileo Galilei. Majorana's work was revolutionary, particularly his contributions to the theory of neutrinos, particles that are their own antiparticles, a theoretical possibility that has tantalized physicists for decades. His research laid the groundwork for quantum theory and subatomic physics, disciplines that would redefine the boundaries of human knowledge about the universe. But it was in the spring of 1938 when the unexpected occurred, leaving a void in the world of physics and a mystery that endures to this day. Atori, then a professor at the University of Naples, withdrew all of his money from his bank account and boarded a ship from Palermo to Naples on March 25th. He sent a telegram to his family from Palermo, cancelling a previously arranged teaching engagement but he never arrived at his destination. Majorna was never seen again. The disappearance sparked immediate concern and intrigue. Despite extensive searches, no credible evidence of his fate was ever uncovered. In the absence of concrete facts, theories proliferated. Some suggest that Majorana, disillusioned with his life, or perhaps foreseeing the impeding doom of the Second World War, chose to vanish and live under an assumed identity. Others speculated he may have been kidnapped, perhaps targeted for his groundbreaking knowledge in nuclear physics, a field that was rapidly becoming of interest to powers preparing for war. Some theories took a more fantastic turn, proposing that Majorna's work on quantum paradoxes might have led to a self-imposed exile from our own reality or even an accidental slippage through time. While these notions verge on science fiction, they speak to the profound impact of Majorna's research and the way it touched upon the fundamental mysteries of existence. The enigma of Majorna's disappearance was compounded by his reclusive nature and his limited published work, which only served to deepen the allure and speculation. He had a few close friends and maintained an air of distance, even with colleagues. This lack of personal connections left investigators with little to go on when he vanished. Over the decades, sightings of Majorna have been reported in various countries, from Argentina to Venezuela, though none have been substantiated. Some claim to have recognized him in photographs long after his disappearance suggesting that he chose to remove himself from the world he knew and start anew somewhere else. Yet, without definitive evidence, the theories remain just that. Speculation. The story of Ettore Majorna is a tapestry woven from the threads of genius mystery and tragedy. His disappearance left an incredible mark on the scientific community, prompting reflection on the pressures faced by those whose work pushes the frontiers of human understanding. Majorna's legacy is not solely one of absence, but also of enduring scientific curiosity. His contributions continue to resonate, and the enigma of his fate captivates the imagination of physicists and historians alike. As we reflect on Majorna's life and work, we're reminded that the pursuit of knowledge is often fraught with the unforeseen consequences and that the minds capable of unlocking the universe's secrets are themselves complex and unfathomable. In the end, the mystery of Ettore Majorna transcends the man himself and stands as a metaphor for the inscrutable nature of human existence and the ineffable pathways of reality. 
Thanks for joining me on another episode of Whispers of Myth. And remember to like and subscribe.